Welcome again, people. This is the Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for tuning in again. This is Arsenal versus Manchester City in the EFL Cup. Now, we know for a fact that we would have definitely got Manchester City. Whenever we're in a cup competition, they always seem to give us the hardest teams to play in these cup competitions leading to the finals. We could have gotten um, Newcastle, we could have gotten Leicester City. Uh, no, we have already beaten Leicester City. We could have gotten, there are so many teams that we could have gotten which are not of the top six in the English Premier League because they know for a fact that Arsenal normally do good or do well in these type of leagues. So, but the current reigning champion, Manchester City, um, we're taking them on. And I can tell you, this is, one, this is going to be a good one, even though that much expectation is on Arsenal Football Club. Maybe that could be, that could be one of the reasons why we might see a performance from Arsenal because one thing we know for a fact is that Arsenal Football Club, one, whenever there's a trophy and FA is in front of that trophy, in, in front of his name title, that is, that is a trophy that we normally do good in. So, alright, I'm going to give you the predicted lineup and what I think might happen. And we've we'll, we'll listened to Mikel Arteta's press conference and talking about all these type of statistics. At the end of the, of the day, win games is what actually matters. Winning games is what matters. Alright, so let's get into a bit, a bit of this. Alright, so um, starting lineup. Definitely, run Arsenal in goal. It is a cup, cup semi final. I'm, I'm going to go hard. We need this one. We need something to uplift the team. So we're going with the big squad. Leno in goal. Right back in the Midland has 4 2 3 1. It's my formation. You guys know that that is my preferred formation. 4 2 3 1 formation. Leno in goal. In the Midland has that right back. Center back pairing. Pablo Mari. David Luiz. I think Gabriel. No, he'll be out for this one. Pablo Mari. David Luiz. Left back. Kieran Tierney. Central midfield area. This is our weak point. This is the weak point in the team, but we have to go with what we have. Danny Tobias and El Nini again. They are playing poorly, but we have to go with what we have. On the right hand side, Nicolas Pepe. Central attacking midfield area. Joe Willock. Left side. I'm going to give um, Saka a rest for this one. I'm going with um, Reese Nelson on the left. We haven't heard much from him, but we're not we're not sure if he's out. A lot of fans are asking for Balogun to play, but this is a massive trophy. He's a young, he's a young lad. We should allow these young guys to grow. Lacazette up front, and I go through it again. Is Midland right back, centre back Pierre. Said um, Pablo Mari and David Luiz, left back Kieran Tierney. It is possible we might give him a rest and play Collagena. It is possible, but this is a massive game, so I'm going with a good side. I'm going with our best team. Um, Kieran Tierney on the left side. Central attack and in the attack in the midfield area, the two in front of the, the defenders, I have El Nini, Ceballos on the right hand side, Nicolas Pepe, another opportunity for him to prove himself that he's, he can get the job done. Joe Willock in the central attack in midfield area on the left hand side, Bakayo Saka, because we're, we're still not confirm or sure about um, Reese Nelson. And up front, Alexander Lacazette. That is the strongest team we can go with at this point in time. Um, Aubameyang is out, he's still out we're hoping that we might have him for the weekend, if not it is just sad and I know a lot of Arsenal fans are crying say play Balogun, play Balogun, play Balogun we've only seen a few games with Forlan Balogun Forlan Balogun and we're hyping him like he's the, he's the saviour of the team Martinelli is a better player than Balogun and Martinelli has to wait his time so why Balogun cannot wait? We just believe that this man is just a savior. Martinelli, at this point in time, is way ahead of Balogun. And we're, we're, we're getting so toxic that even the young kids were, were, were putting too much responsibility on. We should not be placing that amount of responsibility on the young kids because they, sh they need the time to grow. They need the time to make to create errors and that they can learn from them. But as I say, I'm going to um, lock us at the top front. And um, on the left, um, Saka, because he's what we have at this moment. All right, so um, Mikel Arteta, this is this is a game in which you have to win. The, the pressure is mounting because each game now is definitely like a mountain that you have to climb. 
and if you're you have to climb one of these mountains and get over it you cannot go to the top or halfway there and stop you cannot go three quarter three quarter way and stop you have to go to the top of the mountain it is paramount that you climb this mountain and get over it this is a good opportunity also a big team most arsenal fans are not expecting a win from this one I, myself i am not expecting a win as well but i will not say we're going to lose i prefer say that we're going to draw the game but well that is my heart my heart is saying we're going to draw the game or my but my head is saying logically we will lose basically but as i said before this is a good opportunity for us to stamp our name and move on in a trophy this is a trophy and we have to play as if we have to play that it is a trophy and play like it is a trophy and it is something that we can win as early as possible in the season by about february we can win this trophy and have it in our bag it's one of the, the, the first trophy to finish in the season but this is a third time for the team and i will say i'm going to put the starting lineup right here i want you guys just have a good look and you will see what my starting lineup my prediction from the mind what i think will happen is that we're going to get thumped as always maybe three one depends on which arsenal decide they want to turn up but at this point in time we're battling relegation and we're going to face one of the champions in england and let's see how this one goes thank you very much again for tuning to military guna tv i am out <laughs>